England invests £60 million in Skyland Space Project. The UK government has recently announced a £60 million investment for the reaction engine Skyland Space Project. The investment approved by the British government is a positive response to the European Aviation Agency, ESA, the successful test of the Sabre Advance engine and the entire proceeds will be used to develop the open wide motor. Skylin is an advanced Sabre space-based aircraft design, considered to be the biggest ever breakthrough in jet engines. According to Gizmag, the advanced engine referred to here is the synergistic air-breathing rocket engine, Sabre, a scramjet engine. The engine uses less propellant fuel due to its ability to operate flexibly, as well as a turbofan engine in the atmospheric environment, as well as a propellant in the space environment. Therefore, the engine does not need to carry more oxygen to burn liquid hydrogen fuel. This is an idea that has been around since the 1950s, but until now the technology has allowed it to be realized. The limiting factor in making a motor is to solve the very high temperatures that the engine picks up, especially for engines that operate in the highest part of the atmosphere. The engine requires incoming air to be compressed at 140 atmospheres, so that the air becomes very hot which can melt the best refractory material. However, this limit has been resolved very well thanks to the most unique point on the Sabre engine is pre-cooler technology pre-cooler. Before being burned, incoming air must be cooled suddenly by heat exchangers. Engineers at the reaction engine used a closed helical recirculating system of small, spiral-bound helium-filled tubes. The system is designed to rapidly cool the gas flow from 1000 degrees Celsius to minus 150 degrees Celsius in just one one hundredth second. In addition to the pre-cooler cooling technology, Sabre also has the versatility of being able to operate as a jet or as a missile. Sabre can greatly accelerate aircraft or missiles. Five times the speed of sound in the Earth's atmosphere or 25 times the speed of sound when flying into space orbit. Because of its versatile, fuel-efficient operation, the Sabre engine will enable Skyland to make return and return flights in one flight without the need for a spare fuel tank or secondary propulsion. At the same time, the compact design of the engine will allow the Skylon to fly, land at regular runways. The plane has 25 times the speed of sound. The Skyland Supercar, developed by the UK space company Reaction Engines, can fly anywhere on Earth within four hours. Thanks to the aircraft's Sabre engine, you can fly to the other side of the globe for lunch and return home before dinner. Sabre has two operating modes. The first is the air breathing mode, which draws oxygen from the atmosphere, burns with liquid hydrogen in the combustion chamber to send the aircraft out of the Earth's atmosphere. Once out of the atmosphere, the engine will switch to conventional rocket mode, with liquid oxygen fuel, according to Science Alert. According to the developers, in theory, the aircraft with this engine could reach speeds of up to five times the speed of sound after coming from the runway and remain in the Earth's atmosphere. After switching to missile mode, it will reach 25 times the speed of sound. In addition, one of the major innovations of the new engine system is cooling. Its heat exchanger is 100 times lighter than current technologies, which can lower the hot air temperatures from over 1000 degrees Celsius to minus 150 degrees Celsius in less than 1% seconds. The project took a big step this week, when Reaction announced its partnership with Bi Systems, a major defense and aerospace company, with significant financial investment from the British government. This partnership will help Reaction plan to develop a new Sabre engine class by 2020 and test flights five years later. Today's announcement is an important milestone in the transformation of Reaction engines, focusing on research and testing of feasible technologies for Sabre to develop and test the world's first complete Sabre engine. Great! Mark Thomas, Managing Director of Reaction Engines, said today.